Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashok. Today in this video, we will discuss about CSS modules in LWC. And we will discuss on why CSS module is required, what is CSS module and how we can create and use CSS modules in LWC. Okay, so let's start with why CSS module is required. So in today's world, if we talk about web pages, then those are not simple HTML pages. Nowadays, web pages are more attractive and dynamic with the help of CSS and JavaScript. And customers also want their web pages look and feel as per their convenience and requirement. And CSS plays very good role to beautify our web pages. And now if we talk about our custom LWC component, then we can use pre-built Salesforce CSS framework SLDS. But on top of that, if you want to add our custom CSS, then we can write inline CSS or we can create component wise CSS file. But what if, if you want to have consistent look and feel in multiple components, then what we can do, we can copy and paste same CSS in multiple components. But is it a good solution? No, that's not a good solution. Because in future, if you want to make any changes, then you have to make that change at multiple places, right? So that's where CSS modules can help us. Now let's talk about what is CSS module in LWC. Then we can say CSS module is a simple LWC component which contains only CSS and meta file, no JavaScript and HTML file. And we can write our common CSS rules in this module. And then after we can import this module in any component CSS file wherever we want to use this common CSS, okay? Now let's discuss about how we can create and use CSS module. So there are few steps that we need to follow. So first step is create new component. Then delete HTML and JavaScript file. After that, we need to create new CSS file and we need to write our common CSS in this module. And at last we can import this module in another components. Okay. Now let's open VS code and start creating new CSS module. So as per first step, let me create new component. CSS library. And you can see by default we get three files when we are creating new component, HTML, JS and meta. So we need to delete this JS and HTML file. So let me delete. Now, as per the next step, we need to create new CSS file. So let me create that. And please make sure that CSS file name should be as a component name, else it won't work. Now we can write any CSS in this module. So first let me open my org to understand the use case. So here on home page, you can see component A and component B. And we will change the font size and background color of these headings. Okay. Now let me come back in VS code and start writing CSS. And first let me check the selector over there. So, so this is a h1 tag. And in component B also, this is a h1 tag. So what we can do, we can write CSS on the h1 tag. So let me write h1 tag and CSS for background color. Let's take it yellow and font size let's take 20 pixel and add some padding as well or 5 pixel okay so for now let's say we are done with our changes and as per next step let's add our css module into component a and component b so now to add this module in component we need to create css file first so let me create css file and add this module So this is how I have created CSS files for both components and imported that CSS module in components. Here C stands for extension. So for the custom components, C is the extension and this is the module name. Okay. Now let me quickly deploy and test. Okay, 
Now you can see background color and font size has been changed for both components from single place only. And this module you can use in n number of components. Okay. So this is how you can write common CSS in CSS module. And you can use that CSS in any LWC components to make consistent look and feel of application. Okay. So let me rewind you the steps what we have done to create this CSS module. So I have just created a simple component and deleted HTML and JavaScript file and created this CSS file. Okay. And here I have defined my common CSS and after completing the changes over here and after that we need to import this module in components by creating the CSS file. So if you can see here in component B, I have created a component B.CSS file and this is how I have imported that module and same thing I did in the component A as well. Okay. So this is how you can write common CSS for all LWC components. Okay. So this was a simple use case, but I hope you got an idea to create common CSS and use in multiple components. So that's it for this video. And if you like this video, then please subscribe my YouTube channel. I will see you in next video. Thank you.